What up, my people? <laughs> Bullethead, that jogging suit is fat. Ever since you got that job at Sneaker Heaven, you've been looking like an extra in a Puff Daddy video. Where you been, Bullethead, my main working peeps? Yo, I respect what you're doing, but I miss you, man. <laughs> Romeo, I told you I am not gonna plant sneakers in the trash for you. Well, remember, next time you come to my job at Burger World, I might just have to give you one of them patties I picked up off the floor. Let's go, Aisha. <laughs> hey, Bullethead. You missed my class again today. Don't tell me you at home sick. I already called the bowling alley and talked to your parents. Forget the class, coach. I finally found a job that I'm really good at. I'm clocking mad dollars, legally. Not to mention, I get to put clothes on naked women. You know, they plastic, but you know, it's good practice. The bullet head, as your mentor, I'm starting to worry about you. The job's interfering with school. Yeah, Mr. Hightower thinks me having a job's a good idea, don't you, Mr. Hightower? Yeah. As you recall, it was my idea. Oh, was it? Yeah. You know, the boy needed some guidance. You was too busy dancing around in that cheap gold suit, looking like an affirmative action Elvis. Well, I think the job is interfering with the boy's schoolwork. OK, well, if that's the case, Bullethead, you need to decide what's more important to your future, a few dollars in your pocket now or your education. Yeah, I hear you, Mr. Hightower. You're right. I guess I'll just quit. Good for you, Bullethead. Yeah, quitting your job, that's the right move. I ain't gonna quit my job. I'm gonna quit school. Way to go, Steve. <laughs> you just let me worry about getting Bullethead back, because you are about as good a role model as Bobby Brown. <laughs>